Coming up, we'll take a look at the importance of CTE programs at Fayetteville High School. We'll also highlight the Mu Alpha Theta Club at FHS. And check out sports with Jay Beasley. I'm Tanner Wade. And I'm Crystal Tidwell. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Wednesday, January 23rd. Thank you for joining us. We've got a great show planned for this week. Let's start off with some world news. California Democratic Senator Kamala Harris announced Monday that she is running for president in the upcoming 2020 election. She says the decision was based off her argument that it is time to fight against what she views as injustices of the past two years under the Trump presidency. She is the first African-American woman to announce her run for the White House and the fourth woman running for president in 2020. Representative Tulsi Gabbard, along with Democratic Senators Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts and Kristen Gillibrand of New York, have also announced their own plans to run for the White House. That's all we have for this week's World News. The Fayetteville High School soccer team is hosting a Super Bowl Fiesta tamale sale fundraiser. Tamales can be ordered online at www.fhssoccer.net, or they can be ordered through a player on the team. They cost $20 per dozen and can be either pork or chicken. Sides of chili can be purchased for $5. For more information, please contact Michelle Kicklack at michelle.kicklack at gmail.com. The Rocket City Math League competition will be held during A&E on January 29th. The competition is open to anyone and math teachers will have practice sheets and more information. The Career and Technical Education program at FHS has helped students pursue jobs in a multitude of career paths. Reporter Kate Harmon has the story. The CTE program provides early career training for students. Some CTE classes that FHS offers include sports medicine, agriculture, film, and facts. There are over 90 classes uh, that CTE offers here in the district. Now that's at Fable High School, that's at Alps, and that's at Fable Virtual Academy. And I teach them how to use the Pythagorean theorem to square up and lay out a building, how to lay stuff out, how to figure up angles and everything. So, so we have a direct correlation with other programs and other classes. So in customer relations, we spend a lot of time um, like learning how to interact with customers, um, have repeat clients, um, customer satisfaction and surveys, management. We offer industry certification exams. We offer their uh, opportunity for them to be in career technical student organizations. It's the way we're able to teach and break it down to allow those students to have a better understanding. But students are interested in these classes because most of the time this is something they want to pursue as a career. We're trying to prepare you as fully and as strongly as possible for ultimate success in a career. I think there is tremendous benefit to having CTE classes because a lot of them are hands-on project-based where you are actually practicing skills that you will need for the real world. Um, and I think that everyone benefits from being engaged and interested in the subject matter. But they learn their basic skills from us and that's always kind of a, uh, a nice thing for a teacher to see when you teach kids and they take advantage of it and they really take advantage of what we can teach them. They can go on and have a nice career. CTE training is perfect for any student hoping to gain experience in their prospective career path. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Kate Harmon. Back to the desk. Thanks Kate. You can sign up for career and tech classes when you complete your CAP information. The FHS Library is hosting auditions for the Tiny Concert that is taking place on February 6th. To submit a sample of your audition, please fill out the form through the link in the student announcements. Samples need to be turned in by January 26th. For more information, see Ms. Hall in the library. Language testing for the Arkansas Seal of Biliteracy will be held on Tuesday, February 5th, and Wednesday, February 6th in the lecture hall. To register for either day of testing, please click the link in the student announcements. For more information, please contact Mr. Russell at james.russell at g.fayar.net or visit the Seal of Biliteracy website. Phone calls cannot be made to check students out of class after 320 in order to prevent disruption to the educational environment. Parents or guardians must call the FHS Purple Office in advance to check their students out of school. Mu Alpha Theta is an honors club that allows students to explore their interests in math and participate in competitions, all while helping students through tutoring. Reporter Bryn Taylor has more. 
FHS is home to many nationally recognized clubs, with one of the most distinguished being Mu Alpha Theta. Mu Alpha Theta is a national high school mathematics club with emphasis on developing scholarship and promoting enjoyment of the subject. Mu Alpha Theta is a national mathematics honor society. It is a high school math honor society and it can carry over to a two-year college institution. It is an honor society so the students have to have a certain GPA and have taken certain math courses to even apply and then they have to keep their GPA and stay enrolled in college preparatory mathematics. Moon Alpha Theta tutors in any, any capacity to any math from kindergarten level math up to the best high school math. We offer it for free. We set a goals for students to get 30 hours by the end of tutoring or being tutored by the end of, uh, of their high school career. So when you join Mu Alpha Theta, you can take part in a bunch of these uh, competitions and sometimes we have uh, volunteer events so uh, for example we have pie day where we sell pie to a bunch of students to uh, raise money for our club and whatnot so I mean it's just a great class I mean a great club to um, really just hone in your passion for math and just kind of test the waters you know before you go to college if you would like any more information about the club contact Miss Thomas I'm Bryn Taylor back to the desk thanks Bryn Mu Alpha Theta seems to be a great tool for students wanting to gain more knowledge about math. Seniors that haven't ordered their cap and gown yet can contact Balfour over the phone at 479-306-4486. To order online, please visit the link in the student announcements. The Student Improvement Program will begin today, January 23rd, during A&E. Students placed into the program will need to bring things to work on. One FHS student had the opportunity to explore his talents with filmmaking after being chosen to participate in a mentorship with the Student Television Network. Reporter Gracie Hewitt tells us more about Ian Lynn and the special trip he got to take. Students at Fayetteville High School have the opportunity to showcase their talents each day. One student in particular, Ian Lynn, was chosen to go all the way to Los Angeles, California to produce a documentary over the Special Olympics. Towards the end of the summer, Miss Allen told kind of some people in film about this application to do a project with the Special Olympics through STN and um, she told me to apply so I applied like on the very last day slowly over time they were saying stuff like oh he's he's gonna be a finalist and then it was kind of we didn't hear from them for a long time and so we were like oh this this isn't gonna happen mm -hmm. oh well and then all of a sudden it was like it was just like happening all of a sudden like oh yeah we want you here in like two weeks and we're like Ugh. when I was in Los Angeles uh, click on media was mentoring me and Antoine and it was it was pretty different just because I don't usually focus on documentary um, and this was all about documentary films and making a documentary film instead of a narrative which I usually focus on but we're planning on having the documentary done by the time the entire film and TV program goes to STN and it'll premiere there in front of everybody. Congratulations on this amazing opportunity. For the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Gracie Hewitt. Back to the desk. Congratulations to Ian on the great opportunity. After the break, we'll see how the swim team prepares for their season and take a look at sports for this week with Jay Beasley. See you in 30. Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report, I'm Jay Beasley. Basketball is still undefeated on both sides, standing at 5-0 in just the first few games of the season. The team chemistry with both the girls and the boys team seems to be at an all-time high. The girls team just hit a buzzer beater this last Tuesday against Bentonville, giving them the win 41-40. And the boys team made quick work out of the opposing Tiger team, winning 56-44. This past Friday, both the girls and the boys team beat Springdale in the game that could at least be described as intense. In other sports, the Fayetteville swim team, also known as the Soggy Doggies by team members, is hard at work. But after winning state last year, this team is still trying to find their stroke. The girls winning state, I thought, was a great thing for me and for the team because 
it showed that we have the strength to win meets. And it also just made us all really excited because we hadn't won a title in 20 something years. So them winning just gave everyone a boost of like excitement for this season. Even though the guys didn't win districts or win state or anything like that, it was, uh, it was the first time in a long time that the Bulldogs swim team had something to be like thankful for and something to be excited about. So it was really good for all of us. It was a great boost in morale. It was probably one of the coolest experiences that I've had thus far in swimming. It was just like all of a sudden all this work had paid off and we had, no matter what type of pain we had felt in the pool, it was all worth it finally. And then we all felt like we were a part of something big because we had been on like a 16 year losing streak and it was just kind of like a breakthrough for us. In every sport there comes life lessons. That even includes swim. I think one of the biggest things I've learned is like dedication and learning how to work towards something, especially when you fail. Because we, like my freshman year, we didn't have the best season and then coming back to win a state championship, like having that perseverance and then having that hard work. And then it's taught me like the value of friendships because obviously you have, being on a varsity team, like you have freshmen through seniors. So watching those seniors leave and then valuing, like finding the value in those friendships and making sure you keep those nice and strong. Uh, swim's kind of taught me that like, no matter what, if you work hard and you focus on even just the little things, everything will get better. And I've applied that to my running career, to schooling, and I just feel like that's a really good lesson to take away from it. Support from the school would be awesome because most of the time we don't have, like it's a lot of parents at swim meets. Um, so like seeing our peers there would give us a lot of energy and just like drive to do more. And it's, so meets are a fun environment. It's, um, you'll still be able to like talk to your friends because we have a lot of time in between events. So come experience this one meet. Keep stroking swim dogs. That's all we have for this Bulldog Sports Report. As always, remember to come out and support your dogs. Back to the desk. Thanks, Jay. That's all we have for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV-Fayetteville High for all the new shows and live events. And make sure to check out our Instagram at FHS Bulldog TV to stay up to date with the news around the school and in the community. I'm Crystal Tidwell. And I'm Tanner Wade. We'll see you next week.